Good morning, my name is Pete Sung and I'm the new Davis campus pastor and it's a privilege to be here to just kind of hang out with you, share some thoughts and I hope it's an encouragement to you. Um, you know, for me, I, I, for most of my life, I've been a guy that's tried to pretend I didn't have emotions. I, I wasn't very connected with my own emotions and for me as a former military officer, as a guy who was a mathematician, for me, emotions kind of just got in the way. It was like, you know, when you're a military officer, you need to make decisions, especially on the field of combat. When you're a mathematician, you're trying to solve these very complicated problems. And the thing I'm focusing on is, man, I gotta get to that solution. Emotions get out of the way. I need to find myself an answer to the problem. Well, I am so glad that our God is not like that. So let's look at John chapter 11. It's the eyewitness account of Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. And in this moment in the story, we have Jesus and Mary uh, engaging one another. And, and so I'll pick it up in verse 32. It says this, When Mary reached the place where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. Where have you laid him? He asked. Come and see, Lord, they replied. Jesus wept. Then the Jews said, see how he loved him. Now, there's a couple things that really stand out to me in what I see from Jesus. One, in just how moved he was. The scripture says he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. And of course, we also see that very famous short verse in the Bible, Jesus wept. And, you know, with that verse, although it's the shortest verse in the Bible, I actually think it's the most powerful and definitely the most revealing when it comes to who God is and how He relates to us. You know, in God, we have someone who isn't off in the distance trying to solve all of our problems and trying to answer all these prayer requests. We have a God who's sitting with us in our grief, in our misery, feeling our pain. And I find the Greek actually very helpful here too. When you look at the, the structure of what's going on, the words that are used, the kind of sorrow that Jesus is experiencing, it, it talks about how it, it's more than just weeping and sorrow. There's a, there's a sense of anger in the feelings that Jesus is having towards what's going on. And it's not that Jesus is angry at Mary or the people. It's that Jesus is angry at death itself. He hates death. God hates death. Death, sin, these are things that lead to suffering, and this is what God and Jesus is definitely against. So we see that in the way that Jesus is responding. You know, earlier I, I told you that I was a guy who kind of always tried to avoid his feelings, a guy who tried to be emotionless in the things that he did and just always try to get to those solutions. When I put myself in Jesus' shoes here in this situation to, tr to try to get a better understanding of what's happening, I would do it so differently than Jesus here. If, if I was there, if, if I was in Jesus' shoes and knew what I could do, knew that I was going to be raising Lazarus from the dead, I would come into this moment and, and I'd see people grieving and in their sorrow. And I, I would say, you know, I'd, I'd put on problem-solving Pete hat and I would say to them, hey guys, like, like don't worry. Hey, everything's going to be okay. I'm going to fix this problem. Everything's going to be okay. No need to cry. No need to be worried about anything. And, and then I would raise Lazarus from the dead and say, hey guys, it's all done. It's good. Let's go on. But we don't see that in Jesus here. We see the scriptures say that he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. We see that Jesus weeps. We see that God is in our grief, in our suffering. He's feeling it with us because that's the kind of God that he is. So as you go on with your day today, you know, look for those opportunities where maybe someone is coming to you and they're, they're struggling with something or they're feeling the loss of something, some pain, some grief. And let's take a cue from Jesus and how he empathizes with us. He's not going into problem-solving mode. He's not trying to figure out a next step for us. He's just being there with us, grieving with us, feeling the pain that we feel. And through that, we find that we have an experience of God, an experience of one another uh, that really helps to fuel us uh, to live this life together. 